this is, this is, uh, of course, really the story of my life because uh, I, I hope to live long enough to finish it, but I may, but, but I may not because it's such a turned out to be such a huge project. But I, I had, uh, I got married in uh, the the summer of 1961. Uh, after my first year of graduate school, my wife just got, then, then she finished college, and I could use the money I had made on that, you know, the $5,000 on that compiler to, to finance a trip to Europe for our honeymoon. And we, and we had uh, uh, four months of wedded bliss in, uh, in, in uh, Southern California, um, and then a man from Addison Wesley came to visit me and said, Don, we would like you to write a book about how to write compilers, um, and uh, I, uh, the more I thought about it, I decided, oh yes, uh, I've got this book inside of me. I sketched out that day. I, I still have the sheet of tablet paper on which I, wrote. I, I sketched out twelve chapters that I thought would ought to be in, in such a book, and uh, and I told Jill, my wife, uh, I think I'm going to write a book. And as I say, we had four months of bliss because after, you know, the rest of our marriage has all been devoted to this book. Um, and, um, uh, well, we get, we still have, have, have happiness, but I mean, it was, it, it, but uh, really this, this is uh, uh, the, you know, I wake up every morning and I still haven't finished the book. My favorite textbooks have been published by Edison Wesley. Uh, I had. I, I, you know, my, they, they had done the, the books that I, that I loved the most as a student, and, I, and for them to come to me and say, wow, would you write a book for us? And here I am, you know, just a second year graduate student. Um, uh, this, was, this was a thrill. Um, uh, another very important reason uh, at the time was that I, uh, that I knew that there was a great need for a book about compilers because there were, there were a lot of people who had been, who were, even in 1962, they were, this was January 1962, even in, in 1962, people were starting to rediscover the wheel. There were, the, 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 the knowledge was out there, but it wasn't, it hadn't been explained. And the, the, and the, and, uh, the people who had discovered it, though, were scattered all over the world, and they didn't, they didn't know of each other's work either very much. And, wh and one of the things I knew I had to have in the book was a uh, artificial machine that I, because I'm writing a compiler book, but, but machines are changing faster than I can write books. So I have to have a machine that, that I'm totally in control of. And so I, I invented this machine called Mix, which was typical of the computers of, the, of 1962. Um, and uh, in 1963, I, 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 I wrote a simulator for Mix so that I could write sample programs for it. And I taught a class at Caltech on how to how to write programs in, in assembly language for this for this hypothetical computer. Uh, then I started writing the parts of uh, uh, that that dealt with sorting problems and 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 searching problems like the searching like the linear probing idea. So, so I began to write those those parts which are part of a compiler um, of, of the book. Uh, and I had uh, and, and I had a, a bunch of uh, I had uh, several hundred pages of notes on, on, uh, on, on uh, f gathering for those chapters of the art of computer programming, uh, developing uh, while I'm really, befo that's before I fi uh, graduated. I've, I've already done, done uh, uh, quite a bit of writing on the art of computer programming. Um, and I, and uh, I met George Forsyth about this time uh, George uh, was the man who inspired both of us to come to Stanford uh, during the during the 60s, and George uh, uh, came down to Southern California for a talk, and I met, and and uh, and he said, "Oh, come up, to, you know, come up to Stanford, and and uh, and uh, how about joining our faculty?" And uh, and I said, "Oh no, I can't do that. I've just gotten married. I and I've got to finish this book first. And so I said, you know, I think I'll finish the book next year, and then I can come up. You know, and I start thinking about uh, about the, the rest of my life. But I get this book book done before I want to get my book done before my son is born. Um, well, you know, John is now forty some years old, and I'm not done with the book. But this is uh, part of my uh, lack of expertise is uh, uh, any any uh, 
uh, any good estimation procedure as to how long projects are going to take. I, I, I uh, way underestimated the, how much needed to be written about in, 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 this, in this book. Well, I, anyway, I started writing the, the, the manuscript and I, I went merrily along um, writing pages and uh, of things that I thought were uh, really needed to be said, and of, and of course it didn't take long before I, I had I, I I had started to uh, discover a few things of my own that weren't in any any of the ex uh, existing li literature. So, so um, I did have an axe to grind. I, 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 I the the method the message that I was presenting was in fact not going to be unbiased at all. It was going to be it was going to be based on my own particular slant on stuff and. And, uh, and, and that original reason for why I should write the book uh, uh, became impossible to, uh, to sustain. Uh, but, it, but, but, it, it, it gave me, an, but this, I, this fact that I had worked on linear probing and solved the problem gave me a new unifying theme for the book. I was going to, I, I was going to base it around this idea of analyzi uh, analyzing algorithms and, and have some quantitative uh, ideas about, about how, good, how good methods were, not just that they, that they worked, but, but that they worked well. And, and this m method worked three times better than this method, or 3.1 times better than this method. And, and, and uh, so I, I also, uh, uh, at this time, I was learning mathematical techniques that I had never been taught in school. I found they were out there, but they just hadn't been emphasized uh, in the, uh, openly uh, about how to solve problems of this kind. So my book would also present a different kind of mathematics than was common in the, in, in, in the curriculum at the time uh, uh, that was very relevant to analysis of algorithms. I went to the publishers, I went to Addison Wesley and said, uh, how about changing the, 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 the title of the book from Art of Computer Programming to anal The Analysis of Algorithms? And they, they said, that'll never sell. You know, their, their focus group couldn't buy that one. Um, and uh, so it's, I'm glad they, 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 they stuck to the, the original title, although I'm also glad to see that several books have now come out <laughs> with what are called the analysis of algorithms uh, you know, 20 years down the line. But in those days, uh, the, the art of computer programming, this is very important because I, I'm thinking of the aesthetical, the, 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 uh, um, the, the, whole, the whole question of writing programs as something that, uh, that is uh, that has artistic aspects in in all senses of the word art, including the the one set the, the one idea is art, as which means artificial, and the other art means fine art. Uh, so the, all these are long stories, but I, but I I, I, want, I gotta cover it fairly quickly. I've got the art of computer programming started out, and I got and I'm working on my twelve chapters. And I finished a rough draft of all ch 12 chapters by, I think it was like uh, 1965. Uh, sorry, but, uh, but earlier in, in 66, I got, I had all 3,000 pages of the manuscript uh, ready. I had chapter one, and I typed it, and I sent it to the publishers. And they said, Don, what have you written here? Uh, this book is going to be huge. Did you realize that this, that this you know, that this book is going to be more than 2,000 pages long, or something like this, and and uh, no, I didn't. I um, I thought I, you know I had read a lot of books, and I thought I thought I understood about uh, things, and I and I had my type pages on there, and I and I was figuring five type pages would go into one page of text. It just looked about the that it just looked to me to my eyes if I had five typewritten pages, and you know the letters in a textbook are 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 smaller. Uh, but uh, but I should have realized that th that the guys at the publishing house knew knew something about books too, and uh, and uh, and they told me no no it was one and a half pages of, of text uh, uh, makes a a a, 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 a book, um, and I didn't believe it I, I so I went back to my to my calculus book which Addison Wesley book and I typed it out and sure enough they were absolutely right and meanwhile the computer science hasn't been standing still. And so I knew that the, that the, that there's more still has to be written um, as I as I go. So we have a <coughs> so they uh, I, I went to Boston uh, and and they I I, I know uh, um, 
I happened to catch a glance at the at, at, at some notes that my uh, editor had written to himself uh, f uh, for the meeting that we were going to have with his bosses, and 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 one of the comments on there was terrific cost bind or something like that. And publishing houses all have their horror stories about a professor who writes a, you know 12 volumes about the the uh, the history of an egg or something like this, and and it never sells, and it's just a, it's just a, a, a terrible thing that they have a contract that they've signed and so they had to figure out how to how to rescue something out of this situation I come, come knew it's coming with this monster book well um, so we, we we thought at first we would we would package it into three into three volumes uh, instead of one um, and uh, then um, they sent out uh, the the chapter one to a dozen readers a focus group and they, they got comments on it and uh, uh, well, the, the readers liked it, uh, what they saw in that chapter, and so they, so I at least I had some support from them, and they, and so then they, uh, after a few more months, we decided to package it as seven. They they figured out of the twelve chapters, there were seven of them that would sell, and we could stick the other five in in, in some way that would make a fairly decent seven volume um, uh, set, and so that was the. That that was what was finally announced in uh, in 1966 or something that that it would come out in seven volumes. 